Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Oh, hey, uh, sorry. How's your father? Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? Doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing. But. That's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous... The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Better instead. Right. <laughs> maybe my carpets are magical. <laughs> So much for breaking and entering. What the? Possible intruder. Sweeping area. Over. Scratch that. We're good. 
to locate General Zaydan. seem to flock around them with this chiseled Omar Sharif jaw. Do you see that model he's dating? I'd like to line up for some of that. But they're really not into him, you know? It's the uniform. Chicks like medals. Even if you bought them rather than earned them. You got that right. Thing is, it's not like Zayden is even the lead from the front kind of guy. Graduated from West Point, la di da da, flying colors and all. But has he seen actual combat? <sighs> Not unless you count enhanced interrogation. Blow hard with a pair of pliers. That's all he really is. <laughs> I hear you, brother. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Are you completely out of your minds? You think you can just disrespect your superiors without consequences? Shame on you! I should have you- Target down. Move on to Klaus Strand.
Most impressive 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. Massage expert Connie Engstrom reported at the reception desk. It is not fair. It is. It is. Oh, uh, sorry. These circumstances. If I had known, well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing. Politicians. Oh come on. Yeah, Donald. I can't. No, I can't hear a word you're saying. Someone turn the TV on. I. No, hold on. I'm heading outside. Do Donald? Do Donald? Donald? See him now moving toward the ground, shaking hands with the First Lady near him. And this will be a day of high expectation with President and the President gathering the crowd and the fire. Politicians. I'm sure I can get it. Marty, they're here to spend a few hours. What is this? A large hadron collider? What the hell is that Z-shaped thing and the little wheel that moves in a counterclockwise? Okay, screw this. You let me down, naked silhouette guy. Come on, if anyone doubted it. Well, maybe Olander has access to information we don't. You think of that? Yes, hello. This is, well, I'm calling from the Swedish consulate in Marrakesh. It's a bad judgment call, Selma. Mark my words. You and me right. were the so Johan. Thank you. 
gathering crowd and the fire politicians and generous party. They're here to spend a few hours in the sun. Words of the president to discuss his priorities. Right, right, gotcha. Knob goes halfway through the. Uh, oh, right, okay, I see. Uh huh, uh huh. And that's that. All done. No problem. Thank you. Expert Connie Angstrom. What the hell was that? Didn't make a desk. That was Connie Angstrom. Please go to the reception desk. Jeez! Hey! Hey, what's your problem, sir? Please watch where you're going, sir. Come back in five minutes. Hey! Connie Engstrom, Monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Mr. Engstrom, please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Mister, one moment, sir. I'm gonna have to pad you Klaus down. Klaus Strandberg, go to the massage room. Your session will be long leaves. now. I repeat, Klaus Strandberg, please go to the massage room. Off you go, sir.
Oh, good. There you are. The Klaus Strandberg. Ah, so, the man with the golden touch. Uh, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please. Call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Ah, that's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... This plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Hi, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fannin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Dig a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore.